In this video, I would like to show you how you can geolocate a picture that you found on the internet. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on social media for more content. I will be releasing some tips on my Instagram and on my LinkedIn account, so make sure to follow me there and let's get started. Now in this video, I want to focus on the information that could be found in the background of an image because they are very, very important. We usually look at the picture, the person, and the car, but we don't look at the information that could be found in the background. And this is what we're going to focus on today. So in this video, I have three pictures of cars, and we will try to geolocate them together. Alright, so we're going to start from the easiest one to the hardest one. So here is the first picture that we are looking at. It is a very old car, and it has no license plate. We can see that we have some buildings in the background. I have looked to see if there's any house number that I can find, but I wasn't able to find any. Some information that we can note is that we have a building right here, one right here, and one right here in gray. We can also note the roof color. These are all pieces of information that could be used later on. But if we look at the other pictures, we can see that we have some RV cars right here, and it seems to be like a park place for RV cars. As you can see right here, one of the pictures that has captured my attention is this one because here in the background, you can see that there is a very unique building. What we can do in this case is something that we have already covered on the channel, which is reverse image search. So what we're going to do is just take a screenshot of this building. We don't want anything else. We just want a screenshot of the building. So we can use a program like GreenShot that I've installed on this computer. I'm going to select it, save it directly, and it will be saved on my desktop, as you can see here. The next thing we can do is go to Google and reverse image search it. So I'm going to images and I will drag and drop the image right here. And then it will try to recognize the image. As you can see, here is the building. So if we scroll down, we should be able to see the image. As you can see, this is the building and it's called Dolphin Trust AG. We can copy this name and then go to Google Maps and search for it. We can see that the building is right here. I'm going to change the view to satellite view. So here's the building, and since this is a very small village, we can't see 3D images of it. But we can see that there is a road here, and we have a park place in which our RV cars are parked. If we look back at our image, we can see that there is a street here. Here is the building, and here are the RV cars. So we can know that the car was parked here, and there was a person taking a picture from this angle. Now we will be looking at a picture of a car that has very important information in the background. The picture that we are looking at is also a car. And if we open this picture, we will be able to see very important information, which is actually the house number, and it seems to be 18. Another thing that we can look at is that it has a park place, and we can look at the roof color. I think it's either orange or red. By looking at the roof color, we can eliminate many search results and therefore focus on different results. We can also see that there's a chair here, and these are all very important pieces of information that could be used to identify the location of the car. Now we have help here, which is that we know this is in this city or village. So we're going to use Google to search for this area. We can see that we are looking at a very, very small village, and there aren't many buildings here. Now we can obviously go to the satellite view and see what buildings have a red roof. In a very big city, you will have a lot of buildings that have a red or orange roof. And this is not the solution. This is why the information in the background is very important. So we will be using a very good map developed by Bing Cat that's based on OpenStreetMap information, and it's called BlinkCat Map. You need to log into your Google account or create an account and specify the area that you're looking in. So in our case, this is the area. I'm going to zoom in like this. This is the selected area. And since we know the building has the number 18, I'm going to specify an object. For example, I'm going to say house number, and it's going to be equal to 18. I can also say add condition, and the roof is red or orange. I'm going to say red, add condition, and it's going to be orange. I'm going to say add a custom filter, then scroll down and hit search. We can see that we weren't able to find any information. In this case, you can just search for the house number. Let's do this again. And now we have specified our search to only look for house number 18. So we can see that we got eight search results. We don't want to look at all of these. We could just click on the satellite and need to look for a building that has a red roof. In this case, this is not the one. This is not the one. We can see that this one actually has a red roof. So we will select this one and zoom in to confirm whether it matches our image. 
If we compare it to our original image, we can see the same structure, the same roof color, and even the same position of windows. This confirms that we have successfully geolocated the car in the image. Now let's move on to the hardest image in our data set. This image contains very minimal information. The car is parked on a street, and we can see some trees in the background along with a partial view of a signboard. Since we cannot see the full sign, we will rely on other elements such as the street layout, tree density, and road markings. The first thing we will do is analyze the road markings, as different countries and cities have unique styles. By closely observing the lines and symbols on the road, we can narrow down potential locations. Next, we will focus on the partial signboard visible in the image. We will enhance the image using tools like Photoshop or online enhancers to extract possible text or symbols that can hint at the location. Once we obtain some recognizable text or logos, we can perform a reverse image search to find any matching results. If the search results are inconclusive, we can try translating any partial text to determine the language used, which can provide clues about the region. Additionally, we will use Google Earth to analyze street layouts that match the image. Google Earth allows us to explore potential matches based on road structure, tree patterns, and even the angle of sunlight, which can be useful for identifying time zones and regions. Lastly, we will use crowdsourcing techniques by posting the image in geolocation forums and communities, where experienced geolocators can provide insights based on their knowledge and expertise. By combining all these methods, we can eventually determine the exact location of the image, reinforcing the importance of utilizing multiple techniques in geolocation investigations. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Follow me on Instagram and LinkedIn for additional tips and updates. Thanks for watching.